Asante. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. DJ. Ah, yeah. You may be seated. Thank you very much. I think it is a bit late now. And a lot has been said already. I don't intend to bore you with another speech. But this is a very special occasion once again. When we gather here to celebrate the life of Nyagim. I asked, I said, you know, times are not very good. People will not take so kindly to a very elaborate birthday celebration with Gen Z in town. <laughs> she told, you know, this is my birthday. And I'm getting 74. I don't know whether we'll have another birthday again. And that's why I must celebrate a birthday that I have. I don't know whether we'll have another one next year. And because of that, I said, you have your way. You can have your birthday celebration. I was going to go to some places today, but I canceled to be here with her today. I want to confirm that she slept soundly last night. I did not deserve her. <laughs> and, um, well, so 74 is a uh, mature age. But age is just but a number. Because somebody says, oh, these people are now too old. To go to, they should leave us with the younger people who should take over. I say, you know, age is just a number. The difference between the old and the young is only one thing. That the old has been one day, has been young. They know what it means to be a youth. But the young has never been old. So they don't know what it means to be an old person. And that's why I beat you because of experience which you don't have. Yes. So, um, many things have been said about Ida, and I don't want to add more, more, more things that have been said. But she is a very special person, generally. Because, you know, to live with a character like me for over 50 years is not a very easy thing. <laughs> That I could give her a PhD. This is, it's not always easy to live with Baba. But she's a very tolerant person and very understanding. She's also very intelligent and very considerate and very generous indeed. So she's helped very many people. There's so many children going to school all over Kenya who are actually sponsored by her, Amaida. She's educated so, so many children. And the others whom she recruited and trained and uh, uh, eventually they became very important people in our society. When she was a teacher, at Kenya High School, she initiated a program of exchange of students with another high school in Germany, a place called Kiel. And in summer, she would go with the Kenyan children to Germany, and they would spend